emotion tonight, don't you, Don? Oh, it's just unbelievable. The excitement's in the air, and Sacrifice is here. On the man in the ring with Shark Boy right now, I'm talking about David Young. Bottom line, David Young has been known for one of the worst one-loss records in professional wrestling. But ever since he's had this association with Simon Diamond, and you know Simon certainly considers himself quite a leader. Think about how David Young's career has started to turn around. I mean, he was just recently on Impact in a tag team match with Simon Diamond. And I have to admit it was thanks to a little help from Team Canada, but David Young and Simon Diamond beat America's Most Wanted. Hey, any win, when you're when you're in David Young's shoes and you're looking for anything positive, any win's a good win. Even though, yes, Team Canada came in and interfered, and we're going to get to see the culmination of that later on today as AMW team up with the Naturals, which we never thought we'd see, against Team Canada. But like I said, any win's a good win right here. And I like what he's done with Elix Skipper bringing him in. This is somebody that, man, under the right guidance, can shine. Who will ever forget him walking the six sides of steel? I hope that you had a chance to join us for our pre-show. Prior to every TNA pay-per-view, we've hit that 30-minute countdown broadcast, live matches as well as breaking news. And boy, do we have breaking news tonight as we see David Young just level Shark Boy with the clothesline. Main event is Raven and Sabu, the hardcore dream team, against Jeff Jarrett and Rhino. It's finally made official. Larry Zabisco from the championship committee, as we see the fight from Sharkboy, said if Jarrett pins Raven, he will get a shot at the NWA World's Heavyweight title next month at Unbreakable. But think of the other side of that coin. If Raven pins Jarrett, you're not going to have to hear from Jeff Jarrett. You won't have to hear his whining for one year because he doesn't get a title shot for 365 days. So that is going to make that very, very interesting in that main event. But think 
think about all the other great things as we see Primetime come in right over the ropes with the clothesline. Also want to update you on the situation involving Jeff Hardy. He was suspended by TNA management several months ago for failing to appear at a pay-per-view. But he was ordered by TNA to be here tonight. And I spoke with Larry Zabisco, the championship committee member, just before we came on the air. Hardy had not arrived yet at the Impact Zone. And Larry says if he no-shows tonight, he's fired. Well, he's pulling a T.O. right now. We saw the Simon series going there by Simon Diamond. And now you see a refocused primetime eating skipper in the ring. This is all about Simon Diamond's guys right now. It's Skipper Young and Diamond have dominated this. Shark Boy has got to get a tag in to save it or Sanjay Dutt just to shake things up right here. Samoa Joe, AJ Styles later on tonight. The internet voting in Austin Aries to take on Christopher Daniels. BG James is finally, finally going to have to make a decision as he's the referee when Monty Brown and Kim James take on the crew. The Brown the Troop killing to come in and that's just part of what's going on tonight. Well, you're right, that's just touching on what we have in store for you tonight in Sacrifice as Sharkboy makes the tag. Sanjay Dutt, the fresh man into the ring, springs off the middle rope, hits the back elbow, single leg drop kick, takes down primetime healing skipper. Watch him spring right into the crossbody block. Pin attack, far leg hook, just a two count from referee Andrew Thomas. I'll tell you what, Sanjay Dutt, he may have lost a couple matches recently to Samoa Joe, but all those did was make him a better wrestler as you saw. Oh! Primetime Elix Skipper, he just stopped the momentum in motion and gave him a backbreaker right there. Have to agree with what his new leader, Simon Diamond, said prior to this matchup. Let's be honest, his career, quite honestly, has taken a downward turn since he was forced to split with his Triple X tag team partner, Christopher Daniels. You, you can't deny that. Well, and then and then you got to realize Skipper's watching Daniels go on the X Division Championship fame, and he's kind of left out there in the shadows. This is a great chance. You saw him take a cheap shot right there on Chris Saban. Referee Andrew Thomas didn't quite see it. Sanjay Dutt's now cornered, and I mean cornered. Skipper with the tag in to David Young. Young puts the boots right into the rib cage of Sanjay Dutt, who tries to mount a comeback, fighting back, series of right hands to the top of the head. Oh, look at the strength of David Young right Just here. Oh, man, he's come so far. You mentioned it earlier, but he has. I was talking about the fact that Sanjay's learned so much in his losses with Samoa Joe. He's not afraid of these big guys. And, and you saw it earlier. Look, at that's what I'm talking about right there. Look at this kid. Wow, what a rock and roll as he snaps it off. And then makes the tag in to Chris Saban. And now it's Saban and Simon Diamond. Inverted atomic drop by this two-time former X Division champion. Then the jawbreaker. Oh, look at that as Saban steps it off. One, two, but he got it. No. Oh, was that close. You have to admit, Saban so outstanding in a very competitive loss to Samoa Joe last month at No Surrender. To me, it was one of those instances where your status and your stature, they grow even in defeat. Oh, and who can think of, remember the, the, the last match that Saban had with Rhino. Another tough loss, but boy, what an incredible performance he did with that veteran. This guy is so good, and Simon Nyman's feeling the front of it right now. Springboard drop kick. Here's the pin. Here's two. Oh, look at that. When well, you talk about having them well trained, both David Young and primetime Elix Skipper in to make the save. Well, Simon Diamond, a former tag team champion. Think about that. Elix Skipper, a former champion. It's, there goes Sanjay, and it's one of them. He might have taken down. But wait, Sharkboy comes in with the assist. How about that? Sharkboy with the drop kick to the back of his own tag team partner. But it took down two men. Duck of the wild swinging clothesline. And then. Sanjay and Zagiri takes down David Young. Here's the pin. Oh, Simon Diamond right there to make the save. Boy, this Simon Diamond just really thinks the world of himself as a leader of the Diamonds in a Rough. He says he's a combination of Bobby Knight, Lou Holtz, and Joe Torre. How about that? Oh! Skipper trying to walk the ropes. A little bit of a problem there right at the end of that move as he tried to snap it off. But I love oh, it. the spine buster. He used his hand to balance himself as you see Young going for the pin. Shark Boy to break it up, but I like what Skipper did. He realized that the ropes were a little wet and he slipped, but he used his hand to balance himself and still go through with the move. That's what a great athlete does. Oh! Shark Boy takes David Young out. Now Shark Boy slingshot, cross body block, and down goes David Young to the arena floor. Oh, nice kick right there by Sanjay Dutt to the back of Skipper, and here comes Saban. Boot to the midsection. Doubles over primetime. Shot off into the turnbuckle. Could be time for the shot. Here comes the... Oh, 
Skipper knows it though, and he can fight out of it. Went for the cradle shock, but you're right, it was countered by Primetime. Float over. Skipper powers him down. Goes for the schoolboy. Quick reversal by Saban. Both of them countered each other's moves as you can see the sudden death was almost hit by him. Oh, we got it! He got it! And got the pin and they get the win! like there's some communication problems here. Simon Diamond trying to get his diamonds in the rough.